Chapter 9 Distance from a Point What is the distance from point 20 minus 3 to the line r equals to i plus 1 plus 3tj minus 3 minus 4dk? That is an interesting question. We need to find distance from a given line to from a given point to a line in vector form but like kind of mixed up vector form. So let's first write down this equation in a more familiar way, okay? And then we'll figure out the distance. So the line equation can be written as r equals to i plus, we'll multiply by j, j here, plus 3tj. So these are unit vectors, i, j, k, along x, y, z axis, okay? So minus 3k minus minus makes it plus 40k, correct? Now here we can combine the points, uh, the point vectors on a line which is i, j and minus 3k. So we say i plus j minus 3k and we'll factor out t and write down the components over the t. So it is 3 j so there's no i component so let's write zero for i okay three j okay so better to write in okay let me i've mixed it up okay <laughs> so let me write so we'll forget about i and let me write this as three j plus four k right okay now now write we'll write this in this form which is one one and minus three so these are this is the point where t is equals to instead of i will write 0, 3 and 4, correct? Now on this line we have a point and the direction vector, right? We can say let this point be q and the point will be 1, 1 and minus 3 and let the direction vector be m so the direction vector will be 0, 3 and 4, correct? Now what we are given is a point 2, 0, minus 3. So we are given a point P which is 2, 0, minus 3, correct? What we need to find is the distance between this point and the line. Now of course the shortest distance will be the one which is perpendicular distance from the point to the line, right? This should have been actually the shortest distance, okay? Now that we can get with cross product, right? So what we can do is we can do cross product of PQ that direction with the direction vector of the line and then we get the shortest distance, correct? So let me remind you of the formula for the shortest distance here. So we can write the formula first here. So the formula is magnitude of PQ cross M divided by the magnitude of m because you know we just need a unit vector in the direction normal to the line right that's what we need unit vector normal to the line correct now pq dot cross m what is pq for us so we have pq as equal to this minus this we can write pq as 2 minus 1 is 1 0 minus 1 is minus 1 and 0 that is pq right so pq cross m will be uh, 1 minus 1 0 and oh cross let me write cross here uh, between 0 3 and 4 that's a cross product between the two and the magnitude of m which is 0 square plus 3 square plus 4 square right so we'll write 3 square plus 4 square for the time being okay so that becomes the distance okay so you can find the cross product and let me use the matrix here to find cross product i j k okay and uh, my p q is 1 minus 1 0 and my line is 0 3 4 0 3 4 correct so the cross product will be i times minus 1 times 4 which is minus 4 minus 0 right minus j times 1 times 4 is 4 
minus 0 uh, plus k times in the direction of k 3 minus 0 so it's just 3 minus 0 right so which is basically minus 4i minus 4j plus 3k right now so that is the cross product right so what we need is the magnitude of this cross product right here we did here we did what this is our pq cross m right this is what is equal to this correct now here we need magnitude of this so magnitude of this will be a square plus b square plus c square so which is equals to square root right square root of minus 4 square which is 16 plus square root of minus 4 square which is 16 plus square root of 3 which is 9 over we already have this as 9 plus 16 right 9 plus 16 square root uh, which could be written as 16 plus 16 is 32 32 plus 9 is 41 square root and here we have 9 plus 6 is 25 and square root 25 is 5 so the distance between the point and the line is so many units so that's how you're going to solve this problem I hope you understand it the trick here is that first when you're given this line sort the things out so that you can clearly see a point on the line and its direction vector right so once you have direction vector and the point then you can always find the distance between them using the distance formula correct thank you